right, everybody, it's Monday. Yeah, you got to be excited for Mondays, right? Yeah, be excited. It's Monday. What else you got to be excited about other than tomorrow's Tuesday? <laughs> you know, you just got to make it good, do something fun. We got lots of cool stuff to do and just make the best of the day. Have a good day. We got a uh, really good... <clears throat> Just to re you know, I'll recap in a minute. I only have one headline today because I'm running really behind, and uh, we're gonna we're working on you know the new routine talks about it. But here we go. Uh, headline for today, only one. It's kind of an important one. Pay close attention to this. How many solar panels would it take to power the Death Star? <sighs> hmm. Yeah. Uh. I I don't know. How many solar panel power Death Star? Death Star? <sighs> hmm, yeah. I don't uh, uh I, last I checked, that's not the Death Star. Just that uh, last I checked. Unless unless Marty and Doc went back in time and screwed up the whole Star Wars timeline and now that's the Death Star. That's the only way that works out. I don't know what they were doing with this headline. Apparently, whoever wrote the headline and attached the picture to it have no idea what they were doing and I'm not sure how they got their job. Hopefully, they, they get coached up on how to do it properly and understand pop culture. Anyway, moving on. All right, it's Monday. Like I said, good, fun, positive stuff. Just gonna make it a good day. Uh, Last week's lives, I got to compliment uh, the lives last week. A lot of fun. Tuesday, we had the, um, well, Monday, we had the wheel of positivity. Tuesday, we had the crazy story with uh, with Chewy Wooey and uh, uh, Lone Banana or Lone Dragonfly or whatever the heck his name was. Couldn't even remember it on the great fun we had with the uh, Insta Live Insta Trivia on YouTube. Friday, uh, where Brian hosted for the first time ever, and he did a great job. Uh, great game. Too many baseball questions in that one. Too many baseball questions. And nobody knows the answer because nobody watches baseball. Let's just be clear, nobody watches baseball. All right. Um, and uh, let's see, Wednesdays was good. We had a great discussion, talked about some folks getting jobs and the fears around it and the importance of asking for help. So the lives are going really good and we're really enjoying that. So today we're going to continue the fun and positivity with that and we're going to mix it up a little bit more. So on Mondays, because we're positive, we're going to have various staff running the lives and you just don't know who it's going to be and you just don't know what the topic's going to be and you just don't know how you're going to be involved. So. Look forward to cool, fun stuff on that. Otherwise, we're going to have another good week. Weather's going to be blah, 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 whatever it's going to be in terms of, uh, you know, there's no rain really in the forecast. There's some cooler temperatures, some warmer temperatures. It's springtime, man. The worst thing going around right now is allergies. Allergies, blah. That'll make everybody's, everybody's week-long days every day feel like a Monday. But just because it's Monday doesn't mean we have to have a bad day. We choose. Joe talked about this last week. Good job, Joe. Who chooses whether or not to have a good day or a bad day? You do. I do. I can choose how I go through things. I can choose to not feel good about Monday and just choose to sit here and think about how much I don't like Mondays. Or, like Joe said, I can choose to think about other things. I can choose how I react to someone else. I can choose how I react to it being a Monday. I can choose to instead of just sitting there wondering why it's Monday, I could choose to maybe turn on my phone and watch some cat videos and laugh because laughter does what? It makes us feel good. So do some things to make yourself laugh. Maybe Joe will make yourself, make you guys laugh a little bit after this. If not, he'll make some jokes about me, in which case that typically makes everybody laugh a lot. But you know, whatever. Whatever gets you going to make you feel good on a Monday, do it because we're gonna have fun regardless of what uh, of what the day is, right? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Have fun, everybody. All right, let's get this week going with some back in the bearded past with Zach. Hey, hey, everybody. It is Monday, April 17th. I hope you guys are all flying back in from a good weekend. Not literally. I mean, maybe some of you went to go fly somewhere, right? 
Uh, if not, I hope you guys just had a wonderful weekend. You guys came back in and uh, you guys ready to rock this week. So hey, we're gonna go back, back to the bearded back, past back, with that, back, back. and uh, we're gonna talk about Modesto. Modesto was actually quite the unruly Wild West town back in the day. In the early years, Modesto actually had a reputation of being a wild, noisy village. And they only had one policing officer um, who was unable to cope with the lawlessness and the boisterousness of, uh, of the population. Man, rowdy old Modestoans. Um, so there was an improvement in law enforcement after Modesto was incorporated as a city. So before it was just kind of a village, you know, just your typical Wild West town, right? Um, and then it kind of came into the town. And with this, they elected a town marshal and they started to form a government by 1911. And then they had a real police department in 1911. Um, so basically what they would do is they provided protection for patrol officers and uh, these tall helmets, actually. I'm going to show you a picture. And the reason these helmets were so tall is it provided head protection uh, who walked their beats. And, uh, you know, they were liable to get some ornery characters out there. So, uh, yeah, just kind of a little interesting. Uh, there's a picture here of a couple of the old police stations. The old Modesto Jail stood on 8th Street. Um, I'm looking at the building and I, you know, I'm making... I'll be honest with you, I want to go check it out and see if that building's still there because it looks familiar. And uh, the old uh, building on 10th Street between F and G, it was later used as a historical museum, but this was the, uh, the, the police station here as well. So hey guys, you know, believe it or not, Modesto was once just an unruly wild west town like the movies, man. Alright guys, have a good one. Later. Very good, and to get the positivity train going, to end on the positive note, here's Josh, newly employed Josh, with some positivity for you. Hello everybody, Joshua Asbill, back with the positive quote. Today's positive quote, Positive people also have negative thoughts. They just don't let those thoughts control them. Alright everybody, go have a great day on this lovely Monday.